The trial of former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin featured witness testimony from the defense today. Chauvin is charged with the death of George Floyd, who died in May during a police incident. Chauvin's attorneys are trying to cast doubt on how Floyd died. Sarah Sidner has the latest. So there are multiple, multiple entities all acting together and adding to each other and taking away from a different part of the, of the amount, ability to get oxygen into his heart. Derek Chauvin's defense put on former Maryland chief medical examiner, Dr. David Fowler, who testified as to what killed George Floyd in his opinion. So in my opinion, Mr. Floyd had a sudden cardiac arrhythmia or cardiac arrhythmia due to his atherosclerotic and hypertensive heart disease, or you can write that down multiple different ways, during his restraint and subdued by the police or restrained by the police. He blamed everything but Derek Chauvin's knee on Floyd's neck for Floyd's death. Floyd's slightly enlarged heart, his heart disease, the methamphetamine and fentanyl found in his system, and potentially the exhaust from the squad car's tailpipe Floyd's face was near as police pressed down on him. In the area close to an exhaust, you're going to have a much higher level of carbon monoxide than you would if you're three, four feet away. In cross-examination, the prosecutor challenged the witness to see if he could give him any evidence that that was a contributor in Floyd's death. You haven't seen any data or test results that showed Mr. Floyd had a single injury from carbon monoxide. Is that true? That is correct because it was never sent to I the laboratory for that whether, test. I ask you whether it was true, sir, yes or it no? It is true. Fowler is currently being sued in his medical examiner role in Maryland for allegedly helping cover up the police's role in the 2018 death of a black 19-year-old named Anton Black. Before the jury even arrived, the judge heard a motion to acquit. And for that reason, we would ask the state to, or excuse me, ask the court to grant the motion for judgment of acquittal. The state vehemently disagreed. The defendant is guilty of all charges. And the judge ruled in the prosecution's favor. The case continues. I'm going to deny the defense motion for judgment of acquittal, even when there are inconsistencies, major or minor, between witnesses. The jury is free to believe some and not the others. And when viewing a Testimony is expected to wrap up this week. That means the jury could start deliberations early next week after closing arguments. The Bison are getting ready for action this weekend. Beth is in to explain why.